Let's bring in Freedom Caucus member Mo Brooks from Alabama. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Welcome to you. My pleasure. And, you know, you say you want a unified Republican repeal and replace bill and want the GOP to stick to its word on that. And as we've reported, a lot of Republicans and leadership are for this bill, but getting unified support turning out to be a little more difficult than it sounds. So what's it going to take for you to get behind this, Mo? Well, let's be clear. By way of background, we are being asked to vote for the largest Republican welfare plan in the history of the Republican Party. That should be a hard swallow and a hard sell. Uh, we'll see how it plays out. To get my support, we have to keep our commitments to the American people. We promised that we were going to repeal Obamacare. The House leadership plan is not a repeal of Obamacare. It keeps substantial parts of Obamacare in place. It copies or repackages other parts of Obamacare. A repeal bill is like what Congressman Steve King out of Iowa has. It's a nice two-page bill, two sentences. The Affordable Care Act is hereby repealed, effective such and such a date. What we have on the Republican side right now is a bill that is easily over 100 pages long. That's not a repeal. So let's keep our promise, repeal it. Once we repeal it, then we need to, in my judgment, interject um, competition into the marketplace, allow interstate competition amongst health uh, insurance uh, carriers and providers. On the other hand, the health insurance industry has various parts that are exempt from antitrust laws, which promote oligopolies and monopolies, which suppresses competition, makes pricing goes up. So let's go ahead and uh, do our best to ensure that we eliminate those uh, antitrust exemptions in the healthcare industry. And then finally, my position is, once we've got the repeal, we've interjected uh, competition into the marketplace with all the benefits that comes from that with price suppression, better quality of service. Let's turn this over to the states in the form of block grants and let the 50 states handle this health care issue. You know, I was also looking through your latest newsletter. Uh, you talked about being out with the folks talking in your district, uh, Tennessee Valley, I believe, about what public policy issues are out there. So what are people telling you as you've been out and about? What are people saying about this health care plan? You know, what are their concerns directly? Well, the, the more activist liberal element of my community, uh, Democrat activists in particular, they want a no vote, as you would expect, on the repeal and replacement of Obamacare as reflected by the House leadership plan. Amongst people who supported me, say in Republican primaries or in general elections, they do not want us Republicans to replace Obamacare with yet the largest welfare plan that Republicans have ever proposed. Long term, it's a dead-end proposal. It's a dead-end proposal because it's going to spend money we don't have, we have to borrow to get, we can't afford to pay back, and ultimately is going to contribute to a debilitating insolvency and bankruptcy of our country as we continue to skyrocket with these deficits, blow through the $20 trillion mark. And if you've seen the latest reports, we're not that far over the next 10 years from breaking through the $30 trillion mark. And, and real quick, I've only got time for one more, Mr. Brooks. Uh, many are saying this whole thing is being rushed. You know, Republicans had seven years to get this comprehensive plan together. Now it seems the GOP caught on its heels. So where do you think you can go from here? Well, I'm hopeful that we will digress back to the promises we made to the American people. A clean repeal of Obamacare, once that repeal has taken place, with the repeal being effective some date in the future, so that we then have time to debate on what the new health care system ought to be, whether it should be handed to the states, like I suggest, whether it should be the largest welfare plan ever proposed in the history of the Republican Party, like the House leadership is now advocating, or someplace in between. All right, Representative Mo Brooks, thank you so much for being with us here today on this Saturday. Thanks for being thank with you. us. Thank you. All right.